Today, we've got five skills. When you're trapped in the, you're trapped in the, oh God. <laughs> Your first layer of defense when trapped, whether in the corner or anywhere on the field, is to shield. If by now you do not know how to shield, this is the skill that you are lacking, my friends. Make sure that you extend your body and your arm. In order to shield, we want to keep as much space from the defender and the ball as we can. Stick your arm out, lean into them. Don't be afraid to push a little bit. As long as your arm doesn't extend, it won't be a foul. Dig into them, protect the ball, and stay light on your feet. That way you can move from left to right. That way you can get out. That's the only real reason you need shield. It's buying you time. This is your safeguard. That's why it's our number one. Now, when you're stuck, that doesn't necessarily mean you're stuck in between two players. That might mean you're trapped in a horrible situation on the field. Who says you have to follow the rules? Take a cue from our friend Gareth Bale and go off the field. There's no reason that you have to stay on the field when you're trapped. This guy in the great and most famous goal, we all know this goal from Barcelona, he's about 50 yards off the field and he's still there, right? His speed matters. But what if he thought, oh, I have to stay on the field? You don't, guys. Notice especially on the end line, going off the field is your friend. You have extra space. And a lot of times, psychologically, the defender thinks that you're not going to go outside the field. So they will only protect up to the line. But the only thing that matters is that the ball stays in. You can go off the field as much as you want, right? So use that to your advantage, especially when you're in these positions. Ball. Oh, excellent. Now, the next thing that you need to know is that if all else fails, wait, wait a second, guys, shade change. Let me get a shade change. Let me get a shade change. There we go. That's better. Now. One thing that you, you forgot the shades. You forgot the shades on the, you forgot the shades, guys. Oh, all right, well, <laughs> he doesn't realize that I didn't want those shades anyway. <laughs> now, one thing that you can do, you guys ever see a turtle when it's getting in trouble? Just, it's kind of, right? Straight into the shell. That's what you can do when you're trapped in the corner or on the sideline. You guys have all seen guys do it. Defenders are very good at this. When an attacking player, a striker, is pressuring them in the corner and they are not, they don't know what to do. How do I kick it out? What do I do? They fall on and over the ball. You cannot, cannot do this without first getting contact. If you do, it'll look like a dive. The referee's gonna let you play. They're gonna take the ball and they're gonna go in on goal. But all you've gotta do, wait for contact. Once they hit you, make it good. You gotta sell it. Pull straight on the ball and you're perfect. Shade change. I don't want a shade change, goodbye. Now on to a classic. Most of you guys understand that the faint, uh, deshade me please, got a little bit, a little too active. Thank you. Most of you guys understand that the faint is lethal when you're attacking a player, but it's crucial for you, especially when you are stuck in a corner. If you're trapped between two guys, if you're trapped between one, simply moving your body in one way or the other is going to give you an option. It's gonna allow you to simply, can I get a full deshading? No, it's okay, we'll wait till after the point. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. You're not necessarily using the feint to completely destroy the defender, to throw him either way. What you're doing is you're using it to buy space. When you're trapped, you need space. A feint one way, a feint the other way, that'll give you the space, and you're out. Let me do a couple of them. Yeah. Okay, all right, guys. You can see here, in order to feel actually trapped, I've placed myself in prison. Dedication, subscribe. Now, when you're in a position like this, truly and utterly locked in, you've gotta try the Hail Mary. That means you've gotta try skills and moves that you would never normally try. You have nothing to lose. Try that rainbow. Try to flip the ball over the guy. Do a sombrero. Do, uh, the conditions here at this place are not very good, just, just saying. But you guys understand the point. You have zero to lose, and this is actually a position where you gotta think, oh my God, this is the time. Because if you pull it off, my friends, you will escape just like that. And you're out! Ah! All right, guys, that's, get, get off! That's the video, okay? Now that you guys understand how to handle these psychos that trap you in the corner, like, comment, subscribe. Check out everything we got for you down below in the description box from us here at Unisport. I don't need to hit the crossbar because I already, oh my God. <laughs>